All right, guys, got the keys. I uh, literally just got to the house. Um, this is the new little garden area. I, I assume the kids are going to have a paddling pool here of some description. Um, got a set of steps. Hopefully, they won't collapse when I try and work on them. Not going to overweight, but it's just sat outdoors. And I think we'll put a little bit of a shed area here. I'm not sure we'll put the barbecue. We'll have a think about that because that step's going to be pretty useless otherwise. So it might be ideal for the barbecue. Uh, got a canopy coming that's going to go across there. Uh, as you can see, the windows, these just want tidying up. There's nothing too much for these. You can see it hasn't been open for a while. All this sand has come in the windows. Bit of work here, but it's mainly cosmetic to be fair. Been a bit of movement, but it's all repairable. Won't take long to do actually. And it, that's the main thing on the windows. Um, we are going to rub everything down, repaint it, get a bit more like new. So there has been a bit of movement. Um, I've got Igor coming to have a look as well, but don't see anything too significant, it's all cosmetic and we'll be putting something, a, a privacy piece across there off the street. This door's going to go because I want one that's vented so that when we're at home we can sort of keep it locked but get all the fresh air ideal for the kids so they can't escape also stops anybody breaking in doors going as well get a new front door new doorbell all this stuff is going as well can't stand it these are definitely going um tv is going to go here um sort of just in front of the the window because we've got enough light coming in from the right anyway so tv units probably going to come down there across with the tv there these older windows are coming out we're going to swap them out with the newer ones because these box units the new ones are about that wide so we get rid of all this it's all past its sell by date anyway and i've already built in for the budget for that this is a very odd setup here this is a tiny toilet why you would stick a toilet under the stairs that's like a hobbit's little realm um what we're going to do here rip all that out um gonna looking at putting a washing machine the washing machine in there instead i've got to check the width there that doesn't look pretty bloody tight the sink will go the new there'll be a new uh base toilet there you know where they put the system at the back here more of a tight profile so the the toilet will sort of sit out here the pan will sit out here but the sink will sort of fit on top of the on top of the toilet so it'll all sit together here rather than taking up all that space there where the washing machine is going to go the reason i'm putting the washing machine in there is quite simply it gets rid of all the noise because if you sit watching tv for example last thing you want to hear is the thing rattling away at the moment in the house we're in um it's in the kitchen and it's pretty difficult to hear anything um so been able to shut the door and that keep it away i'm going to put an extract i don't know there's an extract in there as well either should be an extract so i've got an extract to fit in there as well give it some ventilation kitchen's going to come out this this is getting ripped out i'm going to take this out take the wall out extend the kitchen up further to more halfway across the window so it'll be a lower unit new window going in new window going in there um and basically a whole new kitchen refitting all the lights everything uh, as new gonna have a bit of fun with trying to match these tiles that's what i think we might end up going over the top of the tiles and just leaving them down because once i take this wall out obviously there's going to be what was under there exposed which is probably just concrete so fair bit to go but if you want a unit it's for sale do it cheap same with the sofa same with this old tv unit fridge i think we're going to keep looks in fairly good nick i was actually going to spend a thousand euros on a new fridge but i think this one will last about three or four years so i'm going to keep that one now got it chilling 
got the beer and that for when Eagle comes over. So that's on. And obviously Richard's coming over as well, so I might have to get some extra beer in. Uh, stairs are quite nice to be fair. April's up here somewhere, just wandering past. This is the bathroom, which is lovely in pink. So what we're thinking of doing, that'll go, all this will go. All these lovely tiles will go, the bidet will go, toilet will go. And where we've got the bath going right across there, what we're thinking of doing is actually rotating. So the shower comes this way and the toilet sort of sits back over there with a douche. Uh, which is instead of having a bidet, you've got like a spray attachment, Japanese toilet type thing. Um, and I think we'll get better use out of the bathroom by ro rotating it. So that's on the cards, as you can see here. Lights gonna get changed. Gonna have a look at the pipe work, sockets. Already bought them all. It's one of the, this is Ubi's bedroom, I believe. Um, another lovely light there. All that ceiling rose, all that's going. These windows will be coming out at some point. Uh, the blind doesn't look too bad in here. Built in wardrobes. I'm umming and ahhing whether to rip these out at the minute. Um, I think they take up too much space. Oh, tons of bed sheets, so they'll be up for sale as well. Or down the chariot shop, one of the two. All this will be going. What else we got here? Oh, this is the Zoe room. April's burning incense everywhere. Get rid of all those Asian uh, evil spirits, I believe. <laughs> it's the smell. Oh, it's the smell, okay. Uh, another set of lights going. All this is going, bed's going. That's going. And all the bedding and that. We'll probably, like I said, probably see the cherry shop one, all that stuff. But thinking about these at the minute, whether they rip them all out, redo it. This is April in my room, which is a little bit smaller than the other room, but not by much. It's about, I think we're losing about a meter um, around the room. But blinds are already knackered on this one. Somebody pulled it and it snapped off. I can't say who did it. But it was me. Because <laughs> when I come and have a look, I just pulled it and the, the rope snapped. Um, so that's going to be the first one to look at. The, to be honest, fixing this isn't that difficult. This rope you can get from the Chinese shop. Taking that off, um, you can rewind it inside and realign it. Um, maybe a short term measure, but I do feel the need that these windows want sorting out soon. But the amount of sand that we seem to be getting everywhere light coming out again wardrobes don't like them um like i said probably a full refit again pine was fashionable at one day one day these days no um so not my ch my choice so now we go up onto the top deck and this is where we sort of gain some space obviously we change the light Looking at this one to change for a door, but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough space. I'm not gonna get a support beam in there. I'll have to have a think on that. I don't know if there's enough space to get it in. Um, so that's where the washing machine is at the moment, but once that goes downstairs, it will fit in that gap. This will then become the computer area. Water heaters up here, and as I mentioned, we're talking about solar water heaters. This will be our connections, you can go straight up onto the roof. <laughs> we'll have a look at the roof in a minute. Um, but that's, that's what we're looking at at the moment, is actually swapping that out. Now we'll head out onto the balcony area. This door is another one that will get changed. It's quite windy, it's trying to trap my fingers in the door. So that door will be going. Um, this is our main drainage up here, all the, the rails won't redo it. But to be fair, I've already had a look at these and I can strip those down and make them like new in no time. Do have a bit of an issue with the beam here. So I'm gonna have Igor come around because we're gonna have to cut this out and redo it. Um, but it's not a massive task. And this, this is why I want a door because what I was looking at doing it's where this window is, which is obviously 
bit low because obviously it's finishing here at the minute. Um, if I could go a little bit further up, we can get away with it, like say moving this across a bit. Because um, obviously I'll get the height then. I'll have a double a look when we go back in. Because I want to put a like a glass sort of conservative, there's a bit of a wooden one there. But imagine a pitched roof across, uh, sorry, a straight roof across, very similar to what they've done, but utilising a like a sliding glass partition system. And then basically they'll come all the way around here, up to here, and then this becomes like my little office area. Um, so I can sit up here, work in relatively peace and quiet when the kids are busy playing downstairs. Um, but yeah, looking forward to getting started. We did pick, pick a windy day today to get started. Uh, tiles are all right. Um, so there isn't much to do here. It's mainly this steel bit that's bothering me. The rest of it's just cosmetic and small stuff. Same issue there, look. But it's not major. But I'm looking forward to actually turning this into a usable space. So the first thing we've got today is bringing the jet wash off off from the house and getting all this sand and crap off blasting it and so we can see what's underneath everything giving us a head start on what we're doing where we need to spend our money going forward but certainly looking forward to uh, the next few stages of renovating the house but anyway guys uh, that's the house I did promise to share some stuff um, so yeah that's a, that's about it it was a funny thing today though because got the mortgage going through and the uh, got all the check in everything but then we went to the bank is minus 40,000 because they've took it out of my bank account they haven't actually updated it from their cash it's all come out of my pocket at the minute so I'll be updated between today and tomorrow all right well that's good <laughs> so, so I don't get any bills stopped or anything because of the mortgage going through I'm all right but yeah so it's time to get started. We've already had our brunch, so we're gonna go and have a cup of tea and then uh, start our plans on what we're doing next. For me, I think it's gonna be the lighting. Um, Eagle's coming around Thursday or Friday, so I'm gonna start working on the electrics. Um, jet wash, jet wash the whole out exterior. I think April's gonna be working on the interior. Just, um, but the first thing is start advertising all this tat that we don't want uh, sorry all these items that we were, would like to pass on to new users um because obviously a lot of this stuff we simply don't need or want anymore because we've already got pretty much everything from the other house um so that's it guys thanks for watching